I just brought the bees out side and I've got everything set up ready to go. It's about 45 degrees out. Not the best ideal time to be putting bees in a hive, but got to get it done. They need food. They've been in that package for a while. God only knows how long. I got some pollen patty. I got some fondant because it's too cold for bee syrup. I've got some frames there. Some are drawn, some are not. I have extra space because what I plan to do is take the put the bees in but then set the package in so the bees I don't want to shake them out too violently I picked these up yesterday it was almost dark by the time I got home so it was really kind of like too late to put them in the hive then but now that it's daylight I got to get it done it's just all there is to it the towel is to mostly try to keep them somewhat warm while I go through this process you're going to need generally a hive tool because we got some stuff to get out of here looks like this has some clips in the top of it I'm trying to get this feeder out now they're pretty clustered up right now against this queen Man, this feeder is just crazy tight. Now there's always the possibility that they're going to come flying out once this can comes out. Kind of hoping not. We'll just have to wait and see. That wasn't too bad, actually. Again, they are clustered up on the queen. That's their primary concern right now. Sliding the queen cage out. Some work I got to do to it. It's got a plug cork plug in the end of it I need to get out make sure the queen is okay I do see a queen in there oh my there's no fondant in there I've never seen those done like that So the queen is out now. Hopefully she will go right down where she needed to be. I've never seen one of those queen cages without fondant in the end of it. It looks like the bees have got something down there in the bottom. They're kind of like balling up on. That's probably the actual queen. Bees are in there. There's just not really a good way to do these when it's cold out. Using a hive tool to kind of move the bees down. They'll kind of like spread out on their own. Going to get the fondant in there. Break it up, lay it on top of where there's some drawn out comb. Get this cover on. 
I'm basically going to use the cover to move that down. Then I'm going to put a few slits to break open this. Get it inside here. Also, pour it on it. Go ahead and get the rest of those bees in there. Now they're starting to get a little feisty. They'll be all right. Make sure I don't see the queen anywhere. So now they're in there. That's kind of like the hard part, right? I'm going to go ahead and leave the hive tool here. Everything's buttoned up. There's a few straggler bees on the top. If I whisk them away, <laughs> get them out, they will eventually find the queen's scent. Like, it might take them a bit. They'll find it. Anyways, that's all I needed to do. So now it's just button up this hive. A few straggler bees. A little bit of Kentucky engineering. You can actually see the bees are making their way from this into the hive. I've seen several finally come out and walk across there. See them there? Eventually they will all make their way inside there. There's food in there. There's pollen patties. The queen's in there. They will eventually all go in there. Especially as that queen starts fanning those pheromones. This will probably empty out. And there's probably looks like about 500 bees left in that plastic package. But they will all eventually move in. You see now there's a bee just starting to fan. What he's doing is he's saying, hey, the queen's in here now. See him there fanning? He's telling everybody, hey, this is where the queen is. This is where we got to go. And they're all going to go in there quickly now. This is known as the bee march. You see a lot of people will basically put the queen in a beehive, then shake all the bees out on a board that leads up to the entrance and they'll all march up. It's kind of the same concept. I'm just doing it in a Kentucky engineering state of mind, which is a stick holding this up. This is the first time I put bees in a long Langstroth hive. And uh, it went pretty smooth, if you ask me, considering it's 45 degrees outside. You can see all the bees still marching in there. So basically what I'll do, I'll come out in a couple of hours, right before it gets dark, and I'll make sure all the bees made it in. And uh, they should be good at that time. I'll update you later. Thanks for watching. On the new beehive, this is day two they've been in there. I'm seeing them starting to bring in pollen, which is always a great sign on a brand new beehive from Package Bees. Now I put in about five frames of drawn comb and five frames of not drawn comb, but I have only the first five frames. Available to them. I'm also seeing a few hornets it looks like.